Well, I think, I think we have the situation where in the West, you know, we have put a lot of emphasis on psychological studies. And with a few exceptions, we are missing the, the understanding of spirituality. And in the East, you know, they focused on the spiritual part, but, uh, but not on the study of psychology. And I think we are in a situation now where we can really have a compre comprehensive system that integrates both the psychological and the, and, uh, the spiritual component. And uh, once we have that, we will not need transpersonal psychology. We will not need parapsychology. Once we have correct understanding of the psyche, it's just going to be psychology. You know, why parapsychology? There are uh, these uh, extrasensory access to information. There's many types of uh, uh, transpersonal experiences. So why narrow that research to, you know, telepathy and uh, psychometry and, uh, and uh, maybe out-of-body experiences, you know? This, once we acknowledge the dimensions of the psyche and, and the real potential of the psyche, we don't need these para. Uh, the para means that's a discipline where there seems to be enough evidence uh, to ignore it, but not, uh, uh, you know, enough evidence so that it's incorporated as just part of the knowledge of the psyche. The same transpersonal, you know, why, why should we have special discipline, uh, transpersonal psychology? It's about, what, what should happen is that psychology acknowledges that there is a transpersonal dimension to the psyche, and then it's just psychology, it's not transpersonal psychology.